a Teespring and Spreadshirt low-key didn't change the game again. Seriously though, Teespring and Spreadshirt has made it easy for you guys to print t-shirts, get it shipped out, and do returns without even having to touch the t-shirt at all. All you have to do is just plug in the graphic. And where do you guys get the graphic? I mean, I do the graphics. Every week, I put out a new graphic that you guys can download on Patreon and use on your Teespring and Spreadshirt. It's almost like making money seamlessly. And you can just use my vector packs. Vector packs are like what you need to establish a good look. You think somebody just came around and said, I want an owl graphic and didn't define what the graphic should look like? Nah, man, you gotta have consistency. And that's what these graphic packs are about. You can get those right off my Patreon account. And all you have to do is just upload them and market it out. And pfft, I think I did a video on marketing, so I really didn't show you guys the keys to the streets. But today, you guys, I want to talk about Teespring specifically. I don't want to talk about Spreadshirt yet. I do have a five video series coming out, but we have to hit 100,000 subscribers, man. Everybody has to have the bell notifications on for me to put that video out too, because that video is very comprehensive. It's something that I think a lot of you guys would benefit from. I don't want anybody to miss out on it. So go ahead, subscribe and bell notification, everything. Make sure all of those notifications are coming to your cell phone. I don't know because there'll be more comments in the comment section. But like I said, I wanna focus on Teespring because it's easy and it's almost seamless, right? So if you guys like this one, go ahead and smash the like button. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So one thing I gotta say is they brought back the all over print t-shirt which was something that they had a long time ago. They brought that thing back and I'm ready to use it. We're gonna use that a little bit later on, but we got these other t-shirts that you guys might be greeted with that you don't understand yet. So we have this classic t-shirt, the comfort t-shirt premium, tri-blend and this premium v-neck, which we all know came from Bella Canvas. Like that's 100% Bella Canvas, we know this. But these other t-shirts, what are they? Look, the classic t-shirt, is their classic t-shirt. They got the Hanes and the Gildan shirt here. I like Hanes, you know what I'm saying? It's 100% cotton, regular fit, unisex t-shirt. I actually like Hanes. It's not heavy. It seemed to work out for the t-shirt that I made back in this video. I don't know, I still rock the shirt. The, the print quality is pretty cool. It did a good job of retaining itself without fading too much. You got the Comfort Tees, which is a Hanes shirt, and then Bella Canvas. I would like to make this comment real quick. Supreme uses Hanes. And we all know how much Supreme charges. And as far as Bella Canvas go on here, I mean, it's the 3001s. They do have a limited variety of t-shirt colors that you guys can use. But you can also not choose Bella Canvas too at the end of all of this. I'll show you guys that. I do trust them a little bit more here on Teesprings than I do anywhere else. But you guys already know. <laughs> Bella Canvas. You have the premium t-shirt, which is definitely not Bella Canvas. It's actually next level. And you have that tri-blend t-shirt, which is also next level, not Bella Canvas. And then you have this premium V-neck, which is Bella Canvas, nothing else. Now, in my opinion, I think the Comfort Tee is the best. So you guys can choose the Comfort Tee. If you want to use Bella Canvas 3001s, Comfort Tee is what you want, right? I like the classic and Comfort Tee, but it, we can use the Comfort Tee this time just for the sake of the video. So we're going to go ahead and click Start Designing. You want to sell if you have a profile with them it's very easy to set up i'm not going to go through that in this video at all but maybe one day so i hit sell and this is basically the editor so it's really not about you cutting up the images or anything like that but you can lay them out and having a, an effective layout will have a very good outcome i haven't done a video on layout in a while and i'm thinking about doing that so if we get to 100 likes, I'll do that one. And definitely let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you want. I definitely did a video about setting your prices and they're preset right now. So the t-shirt was $14, I believe it was, $13, $14. I'm trying to make $15 in profit. That means I'm trying to get the price of the t-shirt plus $2, right? I'm gonna go ahead and change the product color. I think I want it to be maybe this color orange and this green. I love this green here. I really like this orange color right here. Like that looks amazing, but we're gonna mess with the green for right now. And then we wanna add our image. Now, where do you guys get the image from? I've already said it, go to my Patreon account. Now, if you guys are on my Patreon, all you have to do is hit T-shirt graphics. If you're a Kokeshi member, hit the Kokeshi pack. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the T-shirt graphics. And I just wanna pick something out. Maybe, 
maybe the snake logo with textile patterns i made this video last video right so like i made this on screen but i'm gonna go ahead and download this pattern i've already exported everything out on it so it's ready to go all i have to do is just upload my designs now within that vector pack there's already some pre-made illustrative designs you know what i'm saying that you guys can plug in to teesprings already right uh, I like this one right here. I like this snake that I created right here. It's just basically a black snake with kind of like a checkerboard pattern, you know? Almost basic Vans like, you know? We just want to add some text to it. So I'm going to hit the add text button and then I'm going to double click on it and I want to put in the word snake. We can scale it up, move it around. I think I want it to go from one end to the other. Something a little bit like this. And then we'll put it on a bold. And I think I'll make it white. As a matter of fact, I want to delete the snake out. And then I want to put the snake back in so it can lay over the actual words. And I think that looks pretty good like this. If I change the color to orange, this is what we get. And I like it like this. Like, look at that. That's pretty solid. We can even make the words that much bigger. And we get a very classic design. I think that looks really good. Almost Gucci-like. Now that I got the price on it and I got the design on it, all we have to do is hit continue. And this takes us to these different styles and stuff like that. Now, I only want to just use just the style that I have already. I don't even have to worry about anything else. All I have to do is hit continue. But you know what? Just to kind of like give it that Robert Loyal flair, you know, that, that roughness that I usually have to it. I want to add like some Japanese text to it. So I'm going to go ahead and type in this right here and then scale it up make sure it kind of fits in want to put it on a bold too and then make it white but of course we got to delete the snake out and then put the snake back in so i'm going to delete it out and then re-add it back in and i think that looks pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and hit continue as as you can see it kind of like mimics the design that i already have but i'm just gonna go ahead and continue with this we'll call it snake bitten so the description part of this is something that you guys want to focus heavenly on, right? It tells you to tell a story. That's what I like to do. I like to attach a narrative to this, right? Now, to me, when I look at this, it says snake and it has the Japanese word for snake and it says bitten, right? If since it has Japanese text in it, I want to attach a folklore to it. So the Suchinoko is a Japanese snake, kind of like, I think it's like two centimeters long or something like that. It's really small and it is known for being able to talk to you, but it's going to lie to you, right? Though this snake is very beautiful and it has a little bit more of a Christian base to it, which is kind of like the in the beginning stories. I don't want to put in the Japanese folklore story of like a snake or a Christian based story. That's normally what I would do at this point in time, but I'm just trying to get this done so you guys can get into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach like maybe a few words here and there. So something like bold and brash, full of power. And then I'll put like, the specs on the shirt and stuff like that in here so something like this and then we'll put like the wash care instructions and stuff like that on there and if i wanted to add it to a store i mean i guess i can add it to my robert loyal store just in case you guys want to pick it up it's there for you guys but all you have to do is just publish the listing so teespring took out my japanese text which is okay because i guess really their computers would mess up if they just saw that text and they didn't have it already saved into like computer systems so they took it out but that's okay it looks good like this but that's technically it though so if you guys like this one go ahead and smash the like button hope you guys can pick up my vector pack on my patreon account it's there you can use all of my designs in your shops and when i think about stuff that's just pre-made and just ready to go why wouldn't you that's almost like getting free money and because i've already taught you guys how to market this is technically all you'd have to do is just put your product out there and market it. Or let me say it like this, find you a product and then sell it. That's just pretty cutthroat to me, but I don't know. It's up to you guys. But with that being said, you guys have to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, above all else, stay awesome.